a sure foundation, April 29. The Lord will have a people, understand. He will have a people, a people who would be as true as steel and with the faith as firm as granite rock. God will have a people. Uh, they are to be his witnesses in the world. They are also to be his instruments uh, by which he would use to accomplish a special, glorious work in preparing hearts for the second coming of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 19, it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands ashore, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Let us consider for a moment the foundation of God. The foundation of God is the Ten Commandments. Uh, the Ten Commandments, the Bible says, the solid foundation of God stands firm having the seal. So the Ten Commandments somewhere in it must have the seal of God. For God's seal should be found in His Ten Commandments. A God will place a seal upon his people. Understand today that you might be wondering the importance of God having a seal on his people. Uh, it's simple. In the last days, there would only be two groups. Uh, either you will be part of the devil's group or the part of God's group. Either you would have the mark of the beast or the seal of the living God. But understand as God places his seal upon his children, uh, God will own uh, them. Uh, you might be wondering today how to receive that seal. Uh, to begin with, that seal is uh, settling into his truth. It begins by day by day discerning his word. Day by day living uh, for him. As we live for him every day, we become comfortable in his love. We become fortified and anchored in his truth. Why not let us ask God today to give us the strength to be anchored in His Word so that we will be able to stand and appreciate the seal of the living God. Why not trust in His Word today? And let us ask God for that faith, for that is the power of His Word. Father, we are grateful that you will make a distinction one day. We pray that we would be on the side of Christ, receiving the seal of the living God, Prepare us, O Lord. Shine your light and your grace in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.